Hi, here's a quick two-minute guide on how to prepare your audio to use in a Cytoid chart. Two things before we start. One, I'm going to assume that you actually have a computer for this. If you have an Android or mobile device, I sadly can't help you with that. And secondly, I will assume that none of these apply, because if they are, then what are you doing here? You should be in the Cytoid Discord for help. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to be using Rick Astley's Never Gonna Give You Up, because let's be honest here, I'm not making any money off this video. You'll need Audacity and this website. Some people recommend Timing Analyzer, don't use it. Now, get your audio. Good, shove that in Audacity. Now open up that website I told you about. Now play the track in Audacity, click this tiny little box over here, or if you're using Flat9, just click. And play to the rhythm of the song. If you don't know what rhythm is, why are you here? Congratulations, now you roughly know what your BPM is. Burgers per milkshake. Now go back into Audacity, click the empty space, click generate, and press rhythm track. This is where you actually generate your metronome. Use the number that you obtain using the website, and also adjust the number of bars to at least 20. You'll see why soon. And click Generate. Congratulations! You now have a rhythm track. Now, move your audio track until there is at least one bar of empty space, and make sure that the start lands on the first or third beat of the actual metronome. Now press play. Now if that sounded off to you, that's because it definitely was. Delete the rhythm track and try again, this time nudge it according to how late or early the metronome was. In this case, it was late, so we're bumping it up. Keep going until you find the exact number that matches perfectly. In this case, it's this number. If everything is not perfectly on sync, select the empty region and generate silence. And remove the metronome as well. Once that's done, export it as an OGG. Don't use an error format, these are the reasons why. Now go into your preferred charting program and see if it actually works. If it does, congratulations, you have a prepped audio file. You're welcome. 